So for today, we're going to be looking at 801 Banshees or and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about some of the items that are being sold. Other than that, Gold Leaf. Let's look at Gold Leaf real quick. I am on my Titan as well. So yeah, this looks like I said uh, in the chat or not challenges, but the weekly video that I make on Tuesdays. Gold Leaf looks really, really cool, especially with plate armor. And this looks really dope. So I definitely would recommend Gold Leaf. We have Tangled Bronze. This is the like old armor look. Yeah. So if you want to have like a decrepit look, this is going to be the look for you. Uh, we have Dead Orbit Vision, which I am not the biggest fan of this one. Um, the, at the same time, I am. I think it's just the the like orange gold or like, I don't know what color this is. Like the brown, almost orange gold. I, I think it's the green as well. I honestly think it's just the green. I think this color is fine. It can definitely look really cool. I think it's the green that really ruins it for me. As for the armor set, I'm going to go quickly look at some of the armor because again, I don't have all of the armor in my head, unfortunately, which is kind of dumb considering I should. So for the hunters, I'm going to be telling you guys that the cloak and the helmet are probably the two that I'm like, whatever's on specifically. The cloak is pretty terrible considering you'll see it on the chest. There's a big gap there and I just can't unsee that for the arms. I think the arms are really cool. Chest piece is really cool. The boots are really cool. That being said, the boots are a reskin of three or three or two other pieces. So just be aware of that. I mean, most of the, this is a reskin, so that should probably tell you something to be fair. This came from vanilla destiny two, which had a lot of reskins. Uh, Titans, I think the helmet, you can definitely use the helmet. I'm not the biggest fan of it because I like another helmet for it. Uh, it's like exactly the same, but it has fur on top. It's the new monarchy one. Uh, the, the arms are, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's the shoulder pads. I think they're weird. The chest piece is really cool because it's really bulky and I like bulky chest pieces. Uh, the boots are pretty cool as well. And the mark is like whatever, to be quite honest. Warlocks, I actually really do like yours a lot. Uh, the arms are really cool. The chest piece is really cool. The helmet is pretty cool and the boots and the bond are the only pieces that I'm like whatever's on. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Banshee, he is selling Arsenic Bite for B with Quick Draw and Archer's Tempo, which isn't terrible. Uh, quick Draw would be nice because you can get your shit out real fast. Archer's Tempo, uh, draw time decreases after every precision hit and then draw time. So this would be really fun. I can see people using this in PvP. Um, and PVE, we have planks stride with perpetual motion and thresh night watch with multi uh, threat detector and multi kill clip uh, NOD with feeding frenzy and rampage. Oh my God. Um, this is definitely a PVE role. I mean, to be fair, you could definitely use this in PVP and it probably would slap. Although rampage would probably be the one that's like. I know a lot of people would prefer like kill clip or something over rampage just because rampage i don't know this one this one's rough i i'm gonna pick it up just because but i don't hmm, we'll see uh shepherd's watch with outlaw and osmosis and then for the other stuff we have lod brock c with dynamic sway reduction and cascade point it's not bad and then for old sterling we have rewind rounds in frenzy man if it was anything other than frenzy i would probably pick this up just because i'm personally not the biggest fan of frenzy but i would still recommend this one i mean like i'm probably gonna pick it up just just to like force myself to like frenzy uh we have the number with under pressure and unrelenting hand in hand with hip fire grip and elemental capacitor type in f oh my god type in four fr with ensemble and box breathing and then geo geoetic HSM with relentless strikes and on guard. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the only really good ones I would say is like arsenic bite, which I'm so, I'm going to get, fuck it. Uh, arsenic bite, uh, NUID, uh, and old Sterling. I think those three are probably the better choices. As for Zer, he's in the whining cove on the EDZ currently selling the, what is it? Season of the Risen, I want to say, armor set. Um, if I'm wrong, then I definitely will, will correct myself like somewhere. But I'm pretty sure this is a season of... Yes, this is actually the Season of the Risen because the other one is... Uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, Season of the Risen, the Risen armor. I definitely think there's some pretty cool pieces of this. Um, I think the helmets for everyone is definitely a must pick because uh, you can definitely do some cool things with it. But... 
let's be like we're gonna be starting off with the hunters first when i find it let me see okay so for the hunters unfortunately the horns that the titans and warlocks get the hunters actually get that on their cloaks if you want those horns you want to get the cloak not the helmet but i definitely think the cloak the helmet um the arms to a certain extent and that's pretty much it are probably the best pieces from this set the chest piece is fine it just kind of looks kind of boring and same thing for the boots but i still would recommend all of it just because it does look really really cool titans i think the helmet is definitely worth getting the arms are definitely worth getting the oh my god the mark is probably the best piece from everything i love the mark this is one of my favorite marks i've used it in multiple sets so the mark is definitely at least worth a pickup chest piece and boots same thing as hunters i'm not the biggest fan of but definitely still pick them up if you have the ability to get them and warlocks the helmet is definitely worth a pickup i use the arms quite a bit the chest is super cool the boots are pretty cool as well i think the only thing that's not i'm not the biggest fan of is the bond itself so definitely pick it up because again a lot of these pieces are really really cool um if i remember correctly if you don't want to spend money on it then you can definitely go to legends and box obscure obscura actually is dropping this armor because it is from that same season season of the risen so if you don't want to spend your legendary shards on that or you just don't have enough definitely go here vox obscura it's not an it's not a hard one um it's definitely not an easy one either it's more annoying but this is your better alternative because again this is where it's dropping right now or if you don't have time but you still want to get the armor eventually just vox obscura is the mission that you want to write down just write down and then say uh I don't know season of the risen armor or like for me the helmets really remind me of like oni masks for like like in japanese like lore i guess you would say um just reminds me of that type of thing this i've done that for the warlocks i've done like an oni mask type feel so definitely pick it up it le definitely looks really cool weapons we're gonna be looking at gn7 rifle with the grave robber and outlaw farewell with subsistence and vorpal this is not bad actually um i definitely wouldn't use him for like boss damage but champions and shit this would be pretty decent uh spare rations with subsistence and kill clip which i don't like these combo this combo is pretty terrible subsistence you don't want on a kill clip or a kill clip type uh buff so multi kill clip you definitely don't want it as well um that being said subsistence no nah, i still wouldn't want it just because you like once you get a kill your well, i guess you could just shoot and reload i guess but uh i'm not the biggest fan of that combo we have first in first out or first in last out i should say with hip fire grip and opening shot that could be really gross if <clears throat> and assault mag down this could be really gross if your hip fire grip actually procs opening shot which i'm pretty sure it does and you just can hit fire people but i don't think it's going to be that useful watch watch me eat my own words uh, outlast with encore and uh high impact rounds i really like encore uh on certain weapons so i probably would say this is pretty dope uh and rage mm. interesting we have uh, Canis Major with Surplus and Adagio and Honor's Edge with uh, whatever this is. Relentless Strikes and On Guard. Sorry, swords are usually trash, which is why I don't really care for them. But let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the legendary weapons. As for the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with Quick Draw. We have Arbalist, which is super dope. If you don't have it, definitely pick it up. <clears throat> we have McNair's Trick Sleeve, which I still think is trash. Uh, warm god caress with melee increase it or melee kills increase melee damage which i definitely think is really good unfortunately that mobility is way too high and then transversive steps with if you don't have this you definitely still pick it up i mean mobility is really high but transversive steps is so good that whatever role you have in it does not matter buffs your sprint speed reloads your current weapon which i know people meme on but i've caught myself relying on it heavily especially in pvp when I use like a shotgun, all my rounds are gone, and then I just start running away from the enemy, and then it just procs it immediately, and then I just get the kill. So let me actually see what I get for my Titan, considering uh, I never do this for my Titan. Axiom War Rig? I don't even think I have room. Yeah, I don't. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Actually, that's not it. Let me go to Eververse. Let me see. So we have Flower Child, which, I mean, if you want it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make fun of you. You should always get all the shaders, but I'm never gonna use this. 
we have clean cobweb. This actually looks super dope on this. I think this looks super cool. Definitely get this one at least because this is the new shader for this season or for this event, I should say, because this is the armor or the shader that you look at when you get the spider armor, specifically the spider armor. I don't think the, uh, the beetle armor has any shader or at least not one available to us right now. We have murder of crows. <clears throat> You have the necro beast which i don't know man i think i think this is cool i think they should have just added more to it we have ghastly durance and then for the stuff at the bottom we have uh zombie shuffle We have the mourner, which I definitely think looks really cool. I just uh, will not be picking it up because I don't think it looks that cool for me to spend however much bright dust it is. 250, yeah. Nah. Or two, 2,500. We have fairy tale flight. Which I don't really care for. We have heart powered shell, which again, this is definitely Sailor Moon inspired. Uh, skeletal dance. And then pumpkin carver, which literally he just carves pumpkin. Yeah. We have batwing entrance. We have only the finest. And then looming moon. For the shaders, clean cobweb again. We have nougat delight, which I definitely like this shade shader a lot. It's one of my favorite shaders in the game so far, just because a lot of the sets that I made with it look really cool. We have Skelegal, which I definitely would recommend this shader. Definitely. It's such a dope shader. It's one of my favorites, especially for cloth. It turns it into such a dark black. And then we have Shadow Strike, which I'm not the biggest fan of this one. It looks pretty decent with this, but yeah, I don't know, man. Not a fan of this shader. So let me know what you guys think. A lot of things have been happening in the Destiny 2 community specifically. Oh, the layoffs, um, the game is, or the expansion is getting pushed back. There's just so many negativity, like so much negative things about Destiny 2 right now. And it's not even about the game itself. It's just like stuff outside of our control. I will probably make a video on my thoughts on it because I know some people might be curious. And I also do want to share my thoughts because <clears throat> it's really weird that people have this like weird thing of like, they didn't apologize to us. It's like, it, it's not there. They don't have to apologize to us. They didn't do anything wrong to us. I would much prefer them <clears throat> not apologize, but I give a, I don't know. It's so weird. Cause like I would want them to just treat their employees better and, or hold the management accountable because I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know, we all have had that shitty manager. I've personally have like a bunch and we know how aggravating it is for people who actually care about the product that they're selling leave because the manager was either being a shithole or they got fired or the person got fired and the manager stayed. So it's like more poison tends to stay, stay, uh, stay in the company because managers are protected, even though some managers really should not be managers. Some managers should not. So <clears throat> I don't know. I would like, like them to restructure their their act like how they work and just really start looking into themselves and being like which managers are poison in the well and which uh employees are actually more nutrients for for us or like better for us because instead of holding managers in that position maybe because of nepotism or maybe because of other things they definitely should look into themselves and be like all right if this is this manager really bad is this manager like maybe one of my friends, maybe one of my cousins, maybe one of my family members, <clears throat> or I just think they're really cool. Instead of that, they should really be like, all right, if this person's really bad, we have to take them out and then we can just train someone else to become a manager. Someone who actually likes the company, who, who enjoys the content that they make and actually puts their best foot forward. Let's put that person in the man managerial position. So that way, their like attitude trickles down because I definitely think a good manager will not let not will not only want 
you'll not only want to stay there longer, but you'll want to put even more effort for them. At least that's what I've seen. At least that's what I've experienced. If I have a good manager, I want to do better. So that way I can not only please them, but also make them look good. So that way they stay in their position. Um, if I have a shady manager, you know, I don't even have to say it. Like most people are quiet quitting. Most people are straight up just being savage and being like, fuck you. I don't need this job. I don't need this shit. So fuck you. I'm, I'm leaving. So I don't know. I just, I really wish the gaming community in general, not just destiny Two, but the whole of gaming just had better respect and like, I don't know, better respect for their employees because they are the ones, I mean, dude, this year alone, we had so many bangers and so many studios are basically cutting people. And I'm like, why you guys are like, you guys killed it this year. Aside from like devs who obviously didn't make bangers, but like for people who made bangers, I'm like, there's no reason you guys should be cutting uh, people because you guys literally made really well, unless I don't know, this is above my pay grade. I just, I definitely want to make a video on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I definitely think Bungie does not owe us anything because at the end of the day, they really didn't do anything bad towards us. I mean, we're just consumers. We can care about the devs and the people behind Bungie for sure. But asking for an apology to, to us, I think that's just weird. Um, it's just one of those like, but they didn't do anything bad to us. I get you care about Bungie and their employees. I do too, but it's just weird. I don't know. Like it's just weird. So I definitely would just rather them not only apologize, but give better severance uh, packages to the people that they let that they let go. But again, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I do have some content coming out specifically the last pieces of the Halloween stuff, even though I think Halloween's about to end or the festival of the loss is about to end like this Tuesday, I think, or next Tuesday, either way, I should finish it up by next week. I just, again, have been going through a lot of things. Uh, my second channel, I finally finished the month long, like daily upload. It was wild 31 days of nothing, but like two, two videos a day, which was rough, but I did it. And right now I'm working on the next schedule for November this month. For that channel so if you guys want to see me post more content than i you usually do check the second channel that's where i post like a bunch of content armored core six i've already mentioned this in multiple videos but that's where i post a lot of my stuff so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later